Good morning to one and all present here. I am Nikita Rai, student manager of BIM. BIM. Feel immense pleasure in introducing our guest of honor, Mr. Heman Joshi, technology media and telecom leader at Deloitte India. Sir has completed CFE from Association of Certified Fraud Examiners USA, CISA from ISACA. He has an FCA Chartered Accountancy from Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. CIA from Institute of Internal Auditor, Florida, USA. Sir is the president of ISACA Pune chapter, was a member of Board of Governor of the IIA Bombay chapter, and ex-chairman of the banking, finance, and insurance sector of Maharaja Chamber of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture. He has initiated the SkillCon India 2013 report. He shares his interest in writing a number of articles featured in leading print media, including Professionals Body magazine, particularly on telecom and risk. He has also led the IPO of one of the largest telecom company in India. So please enlighten us with your words of wisdom. The podium is all yours. Second thing in life, do not take anybody for granted. You're about to join the corporate world. Never, never, ever take anybody for granted. That is the hallmark of a profession. I have exactly 22 minutes. And it's 22 minutes. I will try and give you some perspectives of the world and the challenges and opportunities as I see it. Let me ask, let me take a poll. Let's see how many of you get it right. How many mobile connections does India have?
which country has the lowest calling and data rates in the world india india, india. very good in the last 12 to 18 months some very significant events have happened and i think we need to sit back pause and reflect on these events to see what it means you heard of alibaba yes sir what's so great about alibaba a fish market here was one fellow stand up and say तो सबको मालूम है यार वॉट इज सो ग्रेट अबाउट अली बाबा वो तो सब लोग कर रहा है एनी टॉन बिग है प्रोग्राम मैनेजर फॉर दिस कोर्स Fail. The unique thing about Alibaba is it was listed on the New York Stock Exchange with the highest valuation in the history of New York Stock Exchange. Think that is not enough. when you probe further alibaba has no manufacturing facility it doesn't own any outlets yet it was listed with the highest valuation you heard of uber yes. how many of you have used uber what's so great about uber quarters before there is something interesting about apple what is that story ab management wale log hai na bahut you should be tracking all this kya corporate world mein jaake kya sab karenge what so great about apple Anybody? 
Two quarters before, Apple reported the highest profit in the history of corporate world all over the world. Apple owns no factories. Today, when you open the newspaper, what do you see? Very good news. <laughs> but what sort of news? Which are the advertisements which come on the first page? <laughs> the advertisements you will see is Snapdeal, Mintra, Amazon. Correct? Have you recently seen any advertisement on the first page of Big Bazaar or... <laughs> what is the valuation of Snapdeal? The point I'm making is this we are we are at a, an inflection point in the history of the world in terms of a paradigm shift in value creation. Apple owns no factories, Alibaba owns no retail stores has no manufacturing, Uber has no fleet. Take one step further. Heard of Airbnb? Those who said yes, kya hai, batao dara. Haan, bol liya hai, kya hai? It's the same concept which Uber did in the taxi, in the, in the field of hospitality. Aapke paas room hai, mujhe room chahiye, how do you connect? It is valued over 40 billion. What does, what is the underlying, underlying paradigm which is emerging in this? Platform. Platform for connecting both the parties. So there is, so the, the, the paradigm is that you don't or need to own physical assets to create value. You can create value through an idea. Ultimately, Uber or Airbnb or Apple, it's an idea. It's a concept. There is a design concept, there is an engineering concept, there is a software. And this software, the idea, is creating this value. Come back to India. One point, some billion connections. Now you combine with I think already 850 million people have got Aadhaar card. How many of you don't have Aadhaar card? I would strongly urge you to go and get one. And everything is going to be... What was the latest news item two days before? It's not mandatory. 
RBI grants payment bank license. Suna? What does it mean? It means the banking paradigm is shifting significantly from the brick and mortar to a virtual through a simple handset, SMS-based handset system. And you can see the power of the economy, the power of the money to create the multiplier. So we are, we, are as a, we are at a very, very interesting inflection point in this country. On one hand, this is a scenario other hand, you pick up the newspaper, as somebody mentioned, you find news. But the news are crime rate, water pollution, river pollution, plastic problem, education is a mess, healthcare is a mess, road traffic congestion is a mess, road traffic is bad, the roads are in a mess. So on one hand, we seem to be having a huge potential. On the other hand, there are all these challenges. And that's, that's, the, that's the paradigm, and that's the contradiction, and that's where the opportunity is. All corporates, all businesses are trying to make money. There's nothing wrong in making money. But the more and more you focus on addressing these challenges, leveraging technology, the more and more you will get a handle on this. What should you... Okay, let me rephrase. I don't want to give advice. What would I do if I was stepping into the corporate world? First of all, I will look at, I will get myself technologically very educated. Because technology is an inherent part. And technology, by technology I mean understanding, the, not only the social media, but the power of the technology to do things, whether it is uh, internet, whether it is the power to connect, the potential of Aadhaar, mobile banking, and so on and so forth. So I get myself very, very technologically savvy. Second thing I will also look at, do I really want to be in the corporate world? Are there enough jobs in the corporate world for thousands and thousands of students who pass out? Should I not consider becoming an entrepreneur? Yesterday's Science of India, I think page 9, there was a whole section on how Pune is emerging as an entrepreneur Forum. Small businesses, amazing businesses. There was a gentleman in Bangalore, Ganesh. He he found that there is there is a shortage of teachers. And there are teachers available in the houses, housewives and others. They want to teach, they are competent to teach, but they have other concepts and they cannot leave home. There are retired professors who have gone and settled in their villages in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, wherever. They want to teach. 
and there are students who want to take benefit of this teachers. So he created a platform connecting the two. So for example, there is a great Carnatic musician teacher in Trichy, and there is a fellow sitting in the US who wants to learn Carnatic music on his time at this convenience. Modern technology, Skype and other things, you are in business. And he grew this business. The name of that entity was Tutis or was Tutor Vista. And he sold it, Pearson came, and he sold it to Pearson for $130 million. And then he's trying to replicate the same thing in, in, in healthcare and so on. So I think you might want to just give a thought to this. The third thing I think you need to understand, there is a total interplay of industries. It will be very difficult to say, here is one industry ending and here is another industry ending. For example, the most glaring example of this is Google. Is it a bank? Is it automobile? Is it telephone? Is it telecom? Is it solar? What is it? Very difficult. So all industries, irrespective, will have to have a very strong connect and interplay with industry, uh, with technology. And I think you need to keep this in mind. Where do you fit into the equation? And we don't have time, but yeah, this leads me to another point that in the world of technology, you think you are dealing with something, but you may find that you are dealing with something else. And there is a whole emerging space of cyber security and that the frauds and other industries related. So that's another big, huge opportunity for you to So as I said, technology, <coughs> which is internet, IP, and these are driven by four big trends of social, mobility, analytics, cloud. And when this technology starts interplaying, you have the challenges of cyber security, which is going to be a trillions of dollars of opportunity. This is what the world needs. But if you and I are going to say that I want a nine to five job, I will push papers, I will manage people, I will supervise, I think those jobs will disappear. So you need to you need to reposition yourselves as you as you step on or step in into the working life. I, I think uh, finally technology is not working, oh, that's okay. So I think there are a lot of uh, lessons. One must always manage one's risk. So if I depend solely on the use of technology to talk to you, you know, I would be a nervous wreck here. So always have a plan B. I think I, I'm, we're going to stop here. Uh, if there are any questions, I'll be happy. And uh, let me take this opportunity uh, to invite you to visit our uh, website, www.alloyd.com. And uh, there are industry sections, uh, there are thought leadership papers, and uh, posts of other things. I would encourage you to read all this, be very current in terms of the big trends impacting various industries, some common trends across all industries. What does it mean for you as a, as a young uh, job seeker? What does it mean for you as an entrepreneur if you want to get into that space? Uh, and, uh, and I wish you all the best and uh, good luck to you in your career. Thank you.
So, we thank you for making this session an interactive one. You portrayed the big picture of different organizations like Alibaba, Uber, Apple, and Snapdeal. You highlighted on the significance of liberalization of technology and how technology has surpassed human beings. This session will surely help us in building our future. May I now request Dr. Kanal Bharat Director of Balaji Institute of Technology Management to present our guest to the commentator.